During the 1980s, there was a major shift in the Congress and in state legislatures about how long sentences sh should be. The public was alarmed by increasing rates of crime from the 1970s and early 80s, and they wanted longer sentences. They wanted cracking down. And that's what happened across the board for all kinds of crimes, not only the mandatory minimum drug sentences. The effect of all those sentencing laws was not just to increase the sentences that people were exposed to, so that people were serving longer time in prison than they did before. It was also to take the discretion away from the sentencing discretion, away from judges and juries, and shift it over to prosecutors. It didn't eliminate discretion. It just gave prosecutors uh, the power to determine what your sentence was going to be by making charging decisions, and even by bargaining over what the facts of your case were. So it didn't mean that discretion was eliminated from the system. It just put the prosecutors in charge. Prosecutors can negotiate with you behind closed doors. It's not open to the public. It's not reviewable. There's no appeal available in the way that you negotiated with. And they can basically say to you, if you plead guilty or if you cooperate and you give us other names, we'll cut you a deal and we'll, you know, we'll only charge you with one of these charges instead of these three. And you'll get five years instead of 15. So all of that goes on behind closed doors. Um, and they say to you, if you don't cooperate with us, if you don't agree, we're going to file a motion because you have a prior from 10 years back. We're going to file a motion called an 851. And if you go to trial and lose, your five-year sentence is going to be doubled to 10. Or your 10-year sentence is going to be doubled to 20. Or we can even, if you've got two priors, it'll put you in prison for life. But all the decision about how they charge these, what charges they bring, knowing what the sentences will be. That's all done behind closed doors. It's absolutely not open to the public. It's not open to review by a court even. And so the, the power of the prosecutor is huge in determining sentences today. And I think, I don't think prosecutors are per se bad people, but I think power is seductive and they have a lot of power and they like it and they get to not just rack up a victory, a win, but they can also say, and he's going to prison for 25 years.